James Webb Space Telescope is not just revealing the secrets of the distant universe, but also it's helping us keep a close eye on our cosmic neighborhood. And you won't believe these frightening space objects recently discovered by the James Webb Space Telescope. Buckle up, grab your tinfoil hats, Let's do this. Number 10, Asteroid 2001 FO32. Asteroid 2001 F032 passed by Earth in March, you guessed it, 2021. Coming within 1.25 million miles of our planet, sounds far, but it's actually quite close. This is about five times the distance between the Earth and the Moon. It sounds like it's a long way to go, but it's actually quite close. Considering this massive asteroid is over 1,300 meters in diameter, it's definitely something scientists want to keep a close eye on. Now, what makes this asteroid especially interesting is that it's part of the Apollo group, which means that its orbit crosses Earth's orbit and its size makes it a potentially hazardous asteroid. Yeah, potentially, just a bit, just a smidge. James Webb Space Telescope was able to study the asteroid's composition and movement, of course helping scientists understand just how large space rocks behave as they move through the solar system. By tracking asteroids like this, we can learn if they could ever pose a real threat. But for now, Keep your distance. Number nine, Comet C 2022 E3. Comet C 2022 E3 made a dazzling appearance in early 2023 as it passed by Earth. For a time, it could even be seen with the naked eye, streaking through the sky as a bright green comet. This was a once in a lifetime opportunity for astronomers, and James Webb Space Telescope, of course, got in on the action. The comet has been traveling through space for thousands of years, and James Webb's powerful instruments gave it a chance to study it up close. Now, this comet Comet, which comes from the outer reaches of our solar system, offers clues about the early solar system and the icy objects that were once common in its farthest corners. Studying comets like this also helps scientists understand the origins of water and organic molecules on Earth, which could have played a role in the emergence of life. Number eight, near-Earth asteroid 2021. Asteroid 2021 LJ4 is a relatively small object, all things considered. It's only about 100 meters in diameter, but it passed incredibly close to Earth in June 2021, coming within 2 million miles. Now, while this distance is still quite far in cosmic terms, it is close enough for scientists to take a close look. Using James Webb's powerful sensors, astronomers were able to study this asteroid's composition, surface features, and orbital behavior. By tracking smaller asteroids like 2021 LG4, scientists can gain insight into how common such close encounters are and whether smaller asteroids might still pose a danger to Earth in the future. Even though it wasn't a threat, right now, the more we understand about these objects, the better we can prepare for these potential impacts in the future. Yeah, hold on tight. Number seven, Asteroid 2023 BU. Asteroid 2023 BU was another close call. In January 2023, this small asteroid came within 2,200 miles, which is only 3.5 thousand kilometers, right? That was pretty close. That's closer than some of our satellites orbit our planet. Now, despite its small size, around 10 meters wide, this asteroid's near miss made scientists pay close attention. Too close attention. The event sparked a flurry of interest from the global astronomy community, and James Webb's observations allowed astronomers to gather data on its velocity, size, and how it interacts with Earth's gravitational field. While there was no danger, the encounter provided valuable information on how we might detect smaller asteroids before they pass too close. Number six, Asteroid 2010 CM. Asteroid 2010 CM was a 25 meter wide space rock and it passed very close to Earth back in, you guessed it, 2010. And while it didn't make headlines this time, its close approach was an important learning moment for scientists. The asteroid's proximity at just 45,000 kilometers from Earth is within the range of some geostationary satellites. Again, this one's really close. James Webb's infrared capabilities allowed scientists to study the object and learn about its composition, texture, and behavior as it came closer and closer to Earth. Obviously, we want to watch it in case it hits us, but it's good to learn some things as well. This observation helped researchers understand the nature of Apollo-type asteroids. And these Apollo-type asteroids are known for having orbits that intersect with Earth's orbit. Even though asteroid 2010 CM didn't cause any harm, Arm, it did highlight the importance of tracking these near-Earth objects of all sizes. Number five, Venus. While Venus itself is not a near-Earth object per se, studying it has been a huge focus for James Webb. Venus is often called Earth's sister planet after all, but its atmosphere is thick with sulfuric acid and carbon dioxide, making it one of the hottest places in the solar system. 
Venus's proximity to Earth and its extreme weather conditions make it an ideal candidate for study. And James Webb's infrared technology has provided new insights into its atmosphere. And it's pretty jarring. By studying Venus, scientists are learning more about planetary climates, including how climate change might affect Earth over time. That's the main goal. This research is vital for understanding the evolution of planets in our solar system and beyond. Learning about Venus's atmosphere can also teach us how to better protect Earth's delicate environment before it's too late. Number four, asteroid 2019 OK caused quite a stir when it passed incredibly close to Earth back in 2019, coming within just 43,000 kilometers closer than the moon. That's way too close for me. Although this asteroid was only about 100 meters in diameter, its proximity had scientists on high alert because of course it's an asteroid. Every time we're gonna keep looking. James Webb was able to study its trajectory, size, and composition, adding to the growing understanding of how close asteroids can get to Earth without causing harm. And spoiler alert, they can get pretty close. What made this encounter so interesting was how suddenly it was detected. It came out of nowhere. Astronomers only noticed it a few days before it passed by. So yeah, we almost missed this one. James Webb's advanced technology does help us stay ahead of these potentially hazardous objects by studying them in great detail. Three day warning? I don't know, it's not enough for me. Number three, the moon. While not a near-Earth object in the traditional sense, the James Webb Space Telescope has also been used to study the moon. Through its powerful infrared and visible light capabilities, the telescope has captured incredible images of the moon's surface. By studying the moon's surface in more detail than ever before, James Webb is helping us understand how it changed over billions of years. Now, since the moon plays such a crucial role in Earth's history and, of course, future, affecting tides, stabilizing Earth's access, and even influencing our planet's climate, understanding more about it helps us gain deeper insights about how Earth's environment works. Now with the moon serving as a stepping stone for missions to Mars and beyond, knowing more about it, it's key for future exploration. Number two, asteroid 2022 AE1. In 2022, asteroid 2022 AE1 made a pass near Earth, coming within 4.2 million miles, or 6.8 million kilometers. While this asteroid wasn't considered a direct threat, it provided a perfect opportunity for James Webb to study a space rock on the move. James Webb's precise instruments were able to measure the object's size and composition, helping scientists learn about the characteristics of asteroids in general which we could always use. Understanding the orbits of these objects and their potential to affect Earth in the future is scary. It's important for developing strategies to prevent any collisions. And finally, number one, asteroid 1998 OR2. Asteroid 1998 OR2 is one of the larger near-Earth objects, measuring about 1.8 kilometers across. In 2020, it passed by Earth at a relatively safe distance of 3.9 million miles, or 6.3 million kilometers. Now, despite its safe passage, its size, and the fact that it could cross Earth's orbit made it a key target for study. James Webb's observations provided detailed information about how such large objects behave when they approach Earth, how they change where they go, giving scientists critical data about their motion, shape, and structure. This kind of research helps us develop better ways to detect and then hopefully track potentially hazardous asteroids in the future. So far, we've been good. Nothing has hit us, but who knows? I'm Taylor McWaters, and we'll see you next time. See ya. Bob Lazar a figure who's become synonymous with the Area 51 mystery, claims to have worked on classified government projects involving extraterrestrial technology. While his claims remain highly controversial and lack scientific evidence, Lazar has shared some intriguing, albeit unverified, opinions on alien life.